A Lowe's and Fisher shelter in Harlingen had to throw out dozens of mattresses. Officials there say they had to do that because of a bed bug infestation. They were forced to get rid of those beds. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez spoke with shelter officials and has the story. It's a situation Bill Reagan has never dealt with in the past seven years as CEO of Loaves and Fishes until now. Bed bugs. One of our clients came in and said that there were bed bugs in, in his mattress. And so we went and took a look and there's about uh, 44 beds on that side. And all of the beds on the left side of the uh, shelter as you go into it were infested with bed bugs. Fifteen beds had to be thrown out. The man who got bit by the tiny bugs was treated with anti-itch ointments. Thanks to a social media post by a visitor at the shelter that day, a donor quickly replaced the mattresses that were thrown out. We were going to put the new ones in and another shelter client came in and said that there were still bed bugs. The count went from 15 to 44 beds infested. All of the beds in the men's dormitory had to be thrown out. The shelter caters to the homeless and low-income people. About 500 to 600 people use the shelter every year. Reagan says it's impossible to say where the bed bugs came from. Uh, right now they're sleeping on cots and we'll be until we're sure that there aren't any more bed bugs. The shelter operates in great part on donations. Reagan is hoping to get the 30 twin size mattresses in time for the shelter's busiest season. We also had all the guys take their belongings out and put them in a plastic bag and take them to the laundromat and wash everything. Uh, uh, bed bugs are hard to get rid of under any circumstance and you know some of our folks spend the days in the bushes and things like that and it's, it's even harder, I think, for us. A couch and several recliner chairs also had to be thrown out of the shelter for precaution. The women's dormitory was not affected. In Harlingen, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6. Another note to Daisy's story. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, a bed bug infestation is considered a public health risk. However, bed bugs do not transmit diseases. They feed on blood and cause an itchy sensation. Here's some things to also keep in mind about bed bugs in this Channel 5 News Extra. Uh, EPA saying an increase of bed bugs in the U.S. due to more travel. Adult bed bugs are about the size of an apple seed, brown in color, and have flat bodies. They feed on blood, as Lethe just mentioned, and can cause itchy bites on their human hosts. There are over 300 pesticides approved to kill bed bugs. Some must only be used by professionals. Also, extreme cold or heat applied to infested areas can help kill bed bugs.